All right. So today it's your turn to do most of the talking, right? Uh, yes. Yeah. My turn to talk. <laughs> <laughs> your turn to talk. Yes. Yeah. And uh, you've been uh, working on something. You've done a lot of uh, research and uh, you did some experimentation on some tables in the house and it worked out real well. In fact, they were one of the first things to go when we had our garage sale. Weren't they? Right. Yeah. Yeah. And I thought they looked really, really cool. So what she's talking about here, I guess I'll let you talk about it. We'll show them this one you've already done first, okay, over here. And I hope the lighting will help us here, help us see this. Maybe you can see it better there. We'll try that. Anyway, tell us tell us what we're looking at what here. What this is is a faux marbleization uh, done strictly on top of um, plywood with sure ply on top of that. Um, what I used for this was, of course, like I said, we used the um, plywood and then we put sure ply on top because I wanted it super, super smooth. Yeah, the main reason why we put the sure ply on top of the three quarter inch plywood, and sure ply is just a tad less than a quarter inch thick, but it's got a super, super smooth finish on it. And what that ended up doing was making the top almost a full, just, just a, almost a full one inch thick. So. Anyway, that's the main reason why we installed the sure ply on top of the plywood before we did this. Okay. And then, of course, we put the uh, front on it. And um, what we did was, of course, sanded it, filled it for nail holes, that type of thing, kills it. And then I used two coats of this paint. It's um, Sherwin Williams. The people at Sherwin Williams called this a hybrid enamel. It's a water-based enamel, but it's supposed to dry as hard as an oil-based enamel. And I've used it to do all the countertops, I mean all the cabinets, and I used two coats on the countertop. Yeah. Can so, I, can basically, I sure. You mentioned one thing before we continue. Yep. What we put on the front here uh, to cover the raw edge of the plywood was a piece of pine lattice. You can get uh, lattice strips at Home Depot and Lowe's both and they're roughly about a quarter inch thick. They come in varying widths. I think this was like an inch and a quarter wide by a quarter inch thick. And um, we simply cut them to fit, uh, put some uh, uh, wood glue on the back of them and I shot them off with my brad nailer. And then of course uh, Deb came in and filled the, uh, the holes left by the brad nailer and uh, filled all of the edges all the way around with wood putty sanded it all nice and smooth and then she started laying down her base coats to uh so that's how we got to this point now um let me i'm sorry i didn't yeah. didn't mean to cut you off there dear now what we're doing is this and you'll see okay. that it's just white it's got two coats of base on it yeah okay you say that again it's white with two coats of this base two coats of the base and of the same thing and right and it's this stuff you were just talking right. about right and then for the rest of the tools i use a plate mm -hmm. plastic plate paper plate now and wait a minute didn't i just eat off of that last night uh no okay <laughs> no it's a different color and oh. water <laughs> takes quite a bit of water it takes to quite a this. bit of water okay and I use acrylic paints that you get at the craft store. You use the basic, the white that we've already had. And in my application, I'm using turquoise and silver. Yeah. And the reason why we're going with that, as you know, you know, uh, as you can tell, we're uh, going with uh, the teal tones. We're decorating with teal tones and white. So teal and white. And we have a lot of stuff, just like some of the baskets that we'll be using on the shelves above, they're in the teal tones as well. So uh, she's carrying that through with this full marble look. And to do this, you need a long skinny paintbrush, something like this, or some people use a feather because you're not putting a lot of paint down and you're using, you need it to be really floaty. Floaty? Floaty. Floaty. <laughs> That's my new word, okay. floaty. If they were to look that word up in the dictionary, uh, would it uh, have a reference to what you're fixing to do right now? No. Uh, that's, that's what I thought. It anyway. takes a lot, quite a bit of water. And uh -huh. basically to get the marbleized effect, you just kind of visualize um, how water flows. Mm -hmm. Water, when it's flowing on a piece of rock. Yeah, it doesn't run in a straight it line. It doesn't run in a straight line. So that's all we're doing. And remember, it flows. So basically, we're 
we're going to do something along this line. Let me get a little closer here so I can see, so they can see that a little better. And I muted a little with some white. You muted it with some white. Well, softened it, I guess is the word. You saw, okay, so you're yeah. mixing the, the, the darker teal tone with a little bit of the white. Yes. And okay. We're going to pick up a little silver. And pick up a little silver. And we're going to just kind of remember that water as it's flowing flows. Yeah, that's that particular run you did there isn't showing up too good in the. There we go. Well, you don't want it to show up that much. Okay, so how do you fix that? You go back over it with some white. With just a little white? And some water. Okay. And remember it veins off when you have marble. Yeah, so you're just kind of freehand in there just to. Yep. Okay. And you just keep working on it and get it to the look that you want. So you can put as many veins in it as you want or yeah. or a lesser amount or whatever. Well, whatever of course. looks good to you. Of course. That's the beauty of this. It's whatever looks well, good. Well, what if you get so far down the road and you say, hey, I did too much. Can you, Have you got then, time to come back and... Then, no. What you do, remember this is only paint. So what you do, if it's too heavy, you can come back over it and dry brush some white to tone it down. Okay. Because it's only paint. You just don't want to leave a glob, because that'll look funny. You don't want to leave a big glob of paint. And you water it down with a little water. Just soften it. One of these things you've got to let me invest in is some more lights for shooting video. Mm -hmm. Maybe uh, some of our followers will go in there and say uh, on the comment section and say Bill needs some some better lights for shooting video. What do you think? Hmm. Uh, yeah. Well, I just want things to look good on camera. You know what I mean? You just continue doing this. Yeah, see that one there doesn't hardly show up. If I had better lighting, it would probably show up better. <laughs> and see, like right there, we've got a glob. Yeah. We're going to come back in and do something on that one. So these over here on that end where you started are a little darker and now you're getting a little lighter. Are you going to come back and what are you going to do? Are you going to mute those out a little bit I'm there? Gonna or are you going to mute these out. These are too dark. Okay. They, um. Fine. Yeah. I kind of liked them showing up like that myself. There. See, I like that. That's just me, though. I'm a guy. See, I've got a glob here. I don't want a glob. I'm going to water it down. Okay. I'm going to step over here on the other side now because you're moving more that direction. Is just make it look the way you want your marble to look. Okay. Um, there is no set rule to it. It's just play with it until you get it 
And I always bring it over the edge just a little bit. Uh -huh. Because I want it to... Um, yeah, you want it to look like the marble continues, or right. the vein goes on through. Yes, right. on down. And it doesn't take much paint. It takes quite a bit of water, actually. Yeah. Now, is this bottled water you're using here that we drink? Or are you, or are you <laughs> no, this is tap water, Fine. silly man. Okay. <laughs> I was going to say, I was hoping, <coughs> hoping you weren't using my favorite bottle of water. No, we use tap water. My Sam's Club water. Yes. Mm -hmm. Of course, you got to wait. When you get all done with this, then you wait for it to dry, and uh, then you do what? Once gonna, it's, you ready to talk about that yet? No. Once Fine. it's totally, well, yeah, we can. Once it's totally dry... And this takes a little longer to dry because it is quite a bit of water. Yeah. But it doesn't take that long. That's the beauty of acrylics. Oh, uh, I saw a blob right there. Okay. And actually, they're a little bit right up in here as well. What you're seeing is water. Oh, that's water? Okay, mm -hmm. never mind. And water will dry. I just it will? Want, I don't want a glob of paint. I understand. Okay, well, they kind of look it, like a... Then it interferes with your... Um, well, smooth. I just didn't want people thinking that the... Uh, what they were seeing was paint blobs when you just said we don't want those. So, ah. that's all I was... That's all I was doing. Mainly, you want to keep your hand free and easy. No rhyme or reason. Think about how water flows down a rock. There is no rhyme or reason, it just flows. See right here, we got too much blue. Yeah. Too dark, so we will fix that here a little bit. Okay. And the neat thing about it is because you do use a lot of water, you should have plenty of working time. Am, am I correct in saying that? Yeah, you've got plenty of working time. Um, the main thing is um, letting it dry a little bit and then coming back in and do what I call dry brush. Mm -hmm. Or what is called dry brush. Yeah, you didn't make up that word. That's No, I did not make up that word. And how did you learn to do this? Did you watch a bunch of YouTube videos on I this? I certainly did. <laughs> I'm a firm believer in YouTube. YouTube is our friend. Is our friend. Most anything you want to know about most anything, there's a video on it on YouTube. That's what we've discovered. You just kind of use the water to make it flow, something. Yeah. So now you're just using a brush with just water. Yep. So probably what we need to do when you get done with this is recap again the material, the parts that you know you use two different kinds of no three, or you will use the third brush here in a minute. Am mm -hmm. I right? Well, yeah. Okay, fine. And remember, if you don't like it, it's only paint. You can paint over it. Put another coat of white paint on top start and start over. over. Do it's, it again. It's, it's um, not rocket science. It's not brain surgery. None of these things. Now, I'll take a little, hopefully, it's not too soon. Um, well, if you think it is, we'll pause the video and start it back up again. What I'm doing now is dry brushing just to tone it down. See how that's toning it down? I see that. Yeah, because there were some spots that looked pretty... Pretty too intense. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we're dry brushing just a little bit of the white. Uh-huh. And we're just lightly going over. And it's going to smear a little bit, but if you think about real marble, the colors leak. This is true. Into the stone. 
So just think about how real marble looks, and that's what we're looking for here. Your phone shoots a lot better video than my phone. Because my phone is superior. It's your phone. It used to be my phone. See how that kind of just... Yeah, it toned it down, but yet it's still visible. visible. Let me get up here close so we can see. Yeah. yeah. You don't you want see. it to get up and knock you in the face. No, this is the dry brush thing you were this talking about? This is dry brush. Okay, and you're just using a little bit of the white just paint on the tip of your brush. Is that right? A tiny bit of white paint. Show, show us what. Just a tiny bit. Yeah, okay. And just brush it out. It doesn't take very much. And here again, if you brush out too much, you can always come back and put a little bit more in if you think, well, I didn't mean to take that much out. Mm -hmm. You can always come back and put a little more in. That's the beauty of this. And remember, like again, it's, it's just paint. Paint is so easy to paint back over. There is no mistakes, no right or wrong. It's just paint. Well, that's definitely muting it right on down. Making it more subtle. That wasn't good. No, that wasn't good. We can fix it. We can fix it. Well, you've already poly polyed that, so it should just clean right off. Now, since I'm going with white as my base, I want to seal this, of course. And I learned the hard way that there's a certain type of a of sealer that you want to use. Polyurethane was what I was familiar with, but polyurethane yellows over time. Right. And we don't want yellow. Here. Sorry. We don't want yellow. So I took out a little bit too much right in here. Uh huh. So I want to put some back. Does that mean you'll have to dry brush again? No, because I'm trying to get more white Okay. to start with, but I took out too much. Yeah, but let's talk more about um, polyurethane and polyacrylic. Okay, polyurethane is what you want to put on that. Why? Right, which you've already done which some. I've already done, and polyurethane. polyurethane takes on a nice golden glow. Yeah, or, or turns a little bit on the yellow side. Yes. Which we want on our pine. Which on our, you want on, on our, the pine. Which, that's what we want. Well, yeah, true. That's what we want. That doesn't mean that that's what, what our followers want. It's this what we is want. true. Yeah. This is just what I wanted. Yeah. Well, we just like the tone that it that it gives it. But, but you don't want a marbleized top or a full marble to turn, uh, yellow. turn yellow. I don't. Exactly. So you discovered that poly... Acrylic, which is right behind you. Right there, Memwax Polyacrylic. It dries crystal clear. Dries crystal clear. Does not yellow. Awesome. Yeah. And she learned that when she did those uh, end table tops that I was talking about at the beginning of the video. First she did, she, uh, she put the uh, polyurethane on it and it looked good for just a few days but then they started turning yellow. And of course, she couldn't stand that. No. So, so what did you do? I sanded them down. And took, took the poly off and redid them. Yep. Because here again, what are we dealing with? Paint. Paint. It's only paint. It's only paint. It's only paint. Don't fret it. 
Of course, the more coats of polyacrylic we put on this, which you're planning on doing several. I'm planning on, I think, at least five. Okay, five coats of polyacrylic. Yeah, because um, this is in the kitchen, and, well, I'll yeah. even be doing it back in the bath area. But, yeah, um, Yeah, on the vanity top when we get that built for right. the cabinets, yeah, for the cabinet in the front. Um, but you see, I guess you can see... I'm just going back in. I'm putting a little more silver in because I want a little more silver. And that's um, just your particular that's taste. That's mine. Here again, you do whatever color you want. Um, I have even experimented. I haven't found the right combination of doing a black base with a white marble. Mm -hmm. And it turned out okay. But... Well... <laughs> You're dealing right now. You're doing what you consider to be some of your favorite colors right now. So exactly. So that's why you thought the other turned out didn't come out right. Okay, rather than awesome. So anyway. Anyway, once we get this done, and we're just about there. Um, as you saw, how simple that was. What did it take me? Maybe 15 minutes. Well, the video right now is showing to be 21 minutes and 16 seconds, mm -hmm. but we did a little talking before we started too. It and um, doesn't take long. And remember what I said: it's it's just paint. If you get it down here and you don't like it, do something different. Yep. And um, so I'm going to use. I don't know if you showed them, but we're going to use about five coats of this. Yeah, we'll show it to them again. So they. And, and where'd you get this at? Sherwin Williams. Sherwin Williams. Yeah. But you can, and also I used the widest foam brush that I could use to prevent as many brush strokes as I could in my base coat. So when you did your base coat of that white paint that we showed them earlier, yes, uh, we'll show it to them again here in a minute. So we'll be sure, certain they know. This one. Yeah. Which we all, she also got at Sherwin Williams, and yes. that, that is what they call a hybrid what? Hybrid enamel. Hybrid enamel. Because it. It's supposed, and it seems to dry pretty hard. Yeah. It dries as hard as an oil base, but yet you've got the water-based cleanup, which I hate oil-based cleanup. Yeah, but it dries as hard as an oil base yeah. does. Yes. Isn't that awesome? It is awesome. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what, you, just after you put those two base coats down before you started all this, all of a sudden you couldn't tell at all that this was plywood at all, just with that, before you ever started putting the, the marble veins on it. So how long would it do you think it'd take for this to dry before you could come back and do your polyacrylic? Uh, 30 minutes. 30 minutes or so? Okay. Not very long. But here again, the paint and the polyacrylic on is not what? Rocket science? No. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I can do it. <laughs> oh. None of it's rocket science. Yeah, none of it's rocket science. <laughs> but uh, so, you know, we'll let it dry real good. Doubt if we do it this evening, it's... Uh, pushing towards six o'clock and we were wishing we had more sunlight uh, started out the morning with sunlight but we had obligations we had to take care of first today so we weren't able to do this filming until uh, after five o'clock today but we were anxious and wanted to uh, wanted to show you how we were doing this you'd already done these two other tops and now have you already put polyacrylic on these other two one coat you could just put one coat on them mm -hmm. so these just have one coat right now and I'll tell you, they, you, you can really tell the difference in how it feels. I mean, it, it's, uh, it, it's really amazing what it did. And she did this entire board here. Now, this particular board, we didn't put sure ply on top of it because really very little of that's going to show once we get our refrigerator mounted in here. There's only going to be a little area, maybe two inches deep, that shows here on the very front, and that's about it. But uh, anyway, she went ahead and did the whole board after all. And it really come out nice, and that's over just the raw plywood right there. But you can tell the difference in how, you know, that sounds after you put the sure ply on top. Now, the way we put the sure ply on top as well, I need to tell you this. I actually took wood, uh, regular wood glue, carpenter's glue, and I actually poured it onto the plywood and used a very, 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 very narrow notch trowel. I think it was like a 1 64th notch or something, just barely had teeth on it and actually spread the glue over the entire plywood and then laid the sure ply into that and then shot it with my uh, my brad nailer but i but i shot uh, i have a nailer that shoots quarter inch crown staples and brads and we used uh, 5 8 inch long quarter inch crown staples to shoot it on and then she filled filled those uh, 
filled those staple uh, spots and then put this on and it's really coming out good we're really really pleased with how it's coming out and it's a lot cheaper than what our other alternatives were going to be all right so probably what we need to do dear because this video is running 20, 25 minutes yeah. um, what I think we should do is recap one more time the different products that she used and then we'll uh, we'll say goodbye okay okay so. all right what I used of course was kills uh -huh. on top of my plywood because yeah you, you put a coat of kills on it first yes. right and then I put two coats of this two coats of that which I got at Sherwin Williams which is the hybrid hybrid enamel enamel at Sherwin Williams yes mm -hmm. and of course it's extra white and semi-gloss extra white oh. semi-gloss and then I bought these at Probably either Hobby Lobby or Walmart. It's just craft paints. Just regular craft paints. And are those enamels? Or These what? are acrylics. Acrylics. This then. is the metallic silver that I used. Uh -huh. And then I used turquoise. Okay. To get the look I wanted. All and right. then water. My super duper little super easy brush. And like I said, some people use a feather. Yeah. Because you want it to be loose and just flowing. And other than that, just working it. Just working it like you saw there. So yep. And then cover it with it. acrylic when we're done. Right. So remember, she's going to go back with polyacrylic after it dries good. Probably put those on tomorrow. We'll let it dry real good. And uh, put that on tomorrow. And she's going to, uh, I don't know, you can't do one. How long does it take each coat to dry in between? Well, it depends upon the weather. But the weather. Yeah, it's been really That's humid the and of rainy. working with water-based paints. Uh -huh. 30, 45 minutes in between. Yeah. Because okay. I'm not a patient person. I, I know. <laughs> 47 years have taught me that. <laughs> so, anyway. anyway, I hope that helps you yeah. um, to come up with a cheap alternative to um, doing your countertops. Yeah. And um, if it doesn't, awesome. Go yeah. for it. Awesome. Fantastic. And when we get it all done, we'll walk through and show it, you know, show you one more time as we're doing another video on another deal we're doing. But we'll we'll do a little bit of a recap on this. Just take a couple couple minutes to uh, show you what the finished product looks like. All right. Well, we're going to say goodbye for now. Uh, hope hope uh, hope you all uh, enjoyed the video and hope you learned something. Yeah, this one's not for everybody, but hey, uh, it's down to making it pretty now. And that's Deb's job. I'm just supposed to make it all work. <laughs> anyway, this is Bill and Deb with I Ride Tiny House Adventure saying... Good night. <laughs> Good night. We'll see you all again soon. Bye-bye now.